Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi hello I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on while you're down there and also while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Now today I thought we could talk a little bit about how schizoaffective disorder affects me. So I have schizoaffective disorder bipolar type. I was diagnosed with bipolar for 13 years and recently my diagnosis got changed from bipolar type 1 to schizoaffective disorder bipolar type. And it's been a bit of a transition, but it does make sense given my symptoms. And honestly, I think it's going to work out quite well. So, schizoaffective disorder is a psychotic disorder. It's the in-between of schizophrenia and bipolar. But you have, with it, you have psychotic symptoms without the mood element. You still experience mania and depression, and you experience psychotic symptoms like hearing voices, hallucinating visually, hearing things, seeing things. I just repeated myself twice. So how does schizoaffective disorder affect me? Well, I have a few hallucinations that no matter how much medication I'm on, just don't go away. And I'm on 10 milligrams of haloperidol. I can't go any higher on it because it'll make me ill again. So the hallucinations that I have are shadow figures running across my room feeling ants running up my arms I'm getting a fucking invisible itch my god why is the tattoo so itchy it's, it's literally healed so yeah schizoaffective sort of affects me in them ways I get paranoid so I get paranoid about people coming in my room because if you didn't know my door doesn't lock insert clip of what literally just happened when I was trying to film a video. Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi. Ah, Alright, Ninja, how you doing man? Alright. What are you doing? Praying? No, I'm making a video. I'm making a video with your camera. Alright, alright. So, you want to help you? You're alright with me? Alright. You're alright, alright. I see that running video, yeah? So yeah, that's fun. People just walk in my room, even when I don't answer them. What's the point in knocking if you're just gonna walk in my fucking room? So I get very paranoid about that. Which I think is quite a rational paranoid thought, really, because my door literally doesn't lock. Then I do have manic episodes and I have psychotic episodes, which aren't fun. Personally, I have more psychotic symptoms than I do manic symptoms and I am also more depressed than I am manic. I struggle a lot with depression and I have done since I was a kid. My mood is always genuinely quite low and nobody knows why. I am on two antidepressants but I'm just depressed all the time. So yeah, that's a bit about how schizoaffective disorder affects me. Hallucinating all the time is exhausting, let me tell you. Yeah, it's fucking exhausting. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. Moving on. If you have schizoaffective disorder, schizophrenia or bipolar, please let me know in the comments how it affects you. Make me feel less alone. <laughs> and yeah, thank you for watching and if you didn't know I have a Patreon. My Patreons get one video every other week that is exclusive to Patreon and will never be shown on my YouTube channel. So yeah, please go check that out, I'll link it in the description down below. The best place to ask me questions though is Instagram. I'll put that on the screen right here so you can see what it looks like and I'll link it in the description down below. I'm linking everything in the description down below. Jesus. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.